everyone. Welcome to my first ever playthrough of Greedfall. If you don't know me, my name is Meg. And if you do, welcome back to a new series. So I've been getting this game recommended to me for quite a while. I played through a lot of Dragon Age games. Well, all of them. <laughs> and I've reacted to a lot of the romances. And so I feel like a lot of you might know me from romance reactions, particularly Solus, which, by the way, yesterday, Dragon Age Dreadwolf was announced, aka Dad. So I am freaking hyped. Heard that the romances are really good in this. This episode is going to be recorded exclusively for YouTube so that I can get a feel for it. And there is the possibility that I'll stream it live if there's enough interest or if I'm finding that it's too big of a game to <laughs> just record on my own. I know next to nothing about the game except that I will like the romance. So I'm going into this completely blind. I'm really excited. Thank you so much for being here and let's get started. Ooh. I don't think I have to say anything. Um, guys, I thought this was like a pirate thing. What? Are you kidding me? I thought it was a pirate thing. Like that was, that was, I think this is one of my, I think this is my favorite. I think this is my favorite idol song ever for a game. Okay, so enemies are more numerous, more aggressive, and they inflict more damage. Stop, please. No, this kind of shit, like. <laughs> I, let's do hard. Yeah, let's do hard. Let's get a challenge. 
I'm a pro gamer. Could you stand a little taller, just a tad? Like this? Yes, yes. The chin a tiny bit lower. Oh, is this character creator? The there, now, hold the pose. Oh my god, I think it's character creator! I love that! Oh my god! We're gonna be girl. What is that on her face? Ooh. Oh my god, this is so cool. This looks really good too. Um Let's go with This is a preset. So I don't think that I can change all the features individually. Like the size of them. sad I think I like that one the best yeah I think I've been drawn to that one her cheek this is a little braid sorry y'all know I take this very seriously I do really like this braid what's this Oh, the hair is not looking too good for me. Let's do the flower crown. Yeah. Okay, so we can change the eyebrows. Oh, she's cute. I like her. I like those. So it's either... Um... I like that. I feel like it's more eyebrow. I'm kind of wanting to do, I think, like a pale skin with a dark hair would look really good. Let's see. Gray. Whoa. Oh my God. She's cute, guys. Okay, so here's dark brown. <sighs> but that's pretty cute. Oh my god, what is that? That's so cute. Blonde is really cute. It's kind of fun for me to do blonde because... I mean, I have been blonde, but not like... I've been bleached blonde. Not like a natural blonde. That's kind of cute too. I think I made it a little too bright. She's gonna be washed out with blonde, so... So 
Sorry, I'm just seeing something. Like, I can't change her mouth. Hmm. It's like yellow. That's kind of cool. What is that? Is that like brown and blonde? Also, are you kidding me right now? What? Okay, wait. I'm, wait. Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh, 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 okay, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Um. So I don't get to choose the mouth, but I do. Uh... No, she's cute. I like it. And I do, I do like. Guys, what color, what color hair? Should she be blonde? That's very blonde. But I like it. I like that a lot. Um, I made this way too bright. Like her thinking face. I wish I could make her eyebrows darker. I like her grumpy eyebrows. Is that gray hair? I wish there was red. I think I'm being a little bit picky. I kind of want to do blonde. I feel like I haven't done blonde in a while. And should her eyes be darker? Oh my god, the blue is so cute. I'm making a freaking blonde with blue eyes. What? No, I like the... Uh... So this is like green. That's just so unique. Okay, I'm doing it. Whatever. I like it. She's cute! She's cute, I think. Yeah, I like her. Okay, so warrior is on melee, melee technical control. No, no way. Offensive spells from a distance. Well, I am a mage, so might have to do that. Firearms though. Hmm. But magic is so cool. One-handed divine magic ring. One-handed heavy weapons. Um. Let's do magic in honor of being a mage. Okay, so reset because I don't know what I just did. According to your preferred playstyle, increases the power of all melee attacks. Agility, mental power, increases the power of all spells. I got to do like a magic firearm build. Increases maximum life and balance. One, the best one-handed and two-handed blunt weapons. Those are swords. The best rings. Let's do this. 
I would think. Choose the talent to in which to invest your starting point to progress. Charisma, vigor. I kind of want her to be really charismatic. Reduces merchants' prices. Slightly increases the chance of success of some. Yes, yeah, see, like I always, I always go for that. Oh, I'm so excited! What's her name? Yes. I Just hope I like her hair. a few more minutes. You have such an incredibly singular face. Uh, that's a compliment, my lady, out of my mouth. <laughs> Your particularity gives you character. You're still here. We have nearly finished. Have you any more need of me, Master? You haven't forgotten that we're setting sail today, have you? Of course not. Yes, our day? Your cousin is nowhere to be found. I've searched the palace from cellars to attics. Your uncle is beside himself. He was of a mind to paint the town last night. Don't worry. I shall track him down. Make care to your own preparations without wrinkling another frown. We'll meet you on the boat. It's about time your cousin took account of the responsibilities awaiting him. He should go and inform the ambassadors of Telemi and the Bridge Alliance of his departure. Have no fear, Master. I will go and see them in his name. What's my cousin up to? I beg your pardon, but urgent matters call me away. Might we finish all this later? Impossible, my lady. You are leaving with the tide, if what I've been told is correct. I am sorry, sir, truly. I must be going. Uh, my lady, please, I beg you. Oh. Thank you, cousin, for getting me out of that. <laughs> it's got to be super boring. Oh, nice transition. This is well at the top and center screen. Ooh, this is nice. I like her hair a lot. It's really cute. Madam, I'm sorry. I'm afraid that I won't make for good company. Okay, bye. I wish you a good day, Your Excellency. Your Excellency? So, I wonder... She's in some kind of position of power. Yeah, I made it way too bright. My bad. No, no, no. Cute. She's very cute. Uh oh. Hey! Green blood! Cut. And so the day has finally come. My royal fledglings are leaving the nest. Accompanied by their most loyal and tenacious master of arms. As loyal as your goal. Enough with the cold mercenary. I know you like us. Still hiding your men in the unsuspecting shadows of the greats of this world, I see. Hey, our blades are the only thing keeping you dainties alive. <gasps> Kurt, I'm not in need of your protection. I don't think I'm, I'm supposed no to have the magic you know. on my hand. Is that so? Well, let's see. Okay, combat Fight tutorial. Ooh, this music. So what do I do? Oh, okay. Choose your next action at your leisure. Okay. Mm. How do I defend? Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Nice. Happy. 
you, dude. Okay. You defend yourself fun. Well, One might think you had a proper master of arms. The best. Oh. You already training for your new post of legate? Don't tire yourself. Flattery will get you nowhere. But for the fight, you have remembered your basics. Your performance just got you out of a final lesson. Unless you want to go through the paces again before we depart. No. Thanks all the same. I have quite that a wasn't few tasks a tutorial? to check off my list before we depart. And here you are already assuming your political functions. And in a hurry. Always too busy. Very well. If you ever want to go over your basics later, visit one of our barracks on the aisle. You'll always find a training partner to give you a friendly fight. <laughs> I'll remember that. Thanks. Are your bags packed for the great departure? Yes. You know I get by with very little. You're not angry that I'm coming with you, I hope. I bet he's a romance option. Complain about being shadowed by a bodyguard. Show him how happy you are that he's coming along. On the contrary, I am thrilled that both you and Sir de Corsillon are joining our party. A few friends at your side in unknown territory is a boon. Don't tell me the old school teacher is competing against me. By the way, where is our future governor hiding? I was hoping to put his skills to the test as well. I have no idea. He had plans to celebrate his departure last night and we haven't seen him since. You know, Constantine. I should have gone with him, but my heart wasn't in the mood for a celebration. The thought of bidding my mother farewell. Aww. It is never easy to say goodbye. But you should be going to see her now. She must be waiting for you. I'll meet you in front of the palace. Then we'll go and find Constantine together. Very well. Nice. I'll meet you as soon as I've said my goodbyes. Oh, my goodbyes. I wonder if my health recharges on its own. What is this? Have you not been taught to knock? I've asked a thousand times. Oh, it's you, my dear child. Mother, I'm sorry. I'm having trouble getting used to your condition. Come now, let's speak of more pleasant things. I'm so very happy to hear your voice. You remind me so much of your father. I do miss him so. Today is the big day, isn't it? Ready to set sail for that island everyone's talking about. Yes, but the idea of leaving you behind, alone and ill. Dying, my child. Alas, there is nothing you can do by staying that would ease my suffering. One thing brings me cheer. They say the island is full of miracles, and we might find a cure. Even if I were to find it, I would never be able to return in time to... I know. But it brings me comfort to know my daughter has left on a mission to heal her people. Come now. It is time for you to take leave. Here. Take this with you. What is it? A family heirloom. Something that... Take it and keep it with you. May it bring you good luck. All my blessings go with you, my child. Now, be off. She doesn't have TV. Sorry. Oh. Ooh, her hat. You looking good, girl? What is this thing on her cheek? And also, are they going to America? Is this about America? Greetings, Your Excellency. Cut. Sometimes it looks like she has a beard. Sorry, Greenblood. Look, 
We can see the masts of the ship Green they'll be bird. taking us. This is one sacred adventure we're embarking on. I hope this island will keep its promises. In order to know that, we'll need to find Constantine first. You were right. Maybe he is already at the port. He was so eager to leave. This will be quite the chore to finish before our departure. The commander wants to recover some merchandise from our supplier, but the transporter doesn't want to deliver. I did all I could to persuade. Nothing came of it. All the parliamenting fatigues me. But this is your domain. I wouldn't say no to a little help. Of course. Where is the supplier located? In the lower boroughs, near the port. Right then. We'll put it on our list of visits. Oh, he's a companion. Melee combat master. Okay, great. So... Faction coin guard relationship level suspicious? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I was nice to you. Just kidding. Um, character development. I can... No, this is her character. Right? Skills? Oh, wait. Attributes. Okay. She doesn't have any more skills. Nothing. Uh... Belt hat. I mean, it's cute. She can wear that. Oh, I have something. Wait. Then what is it telling me that I have? Oh, I'm going between the two of them. So he doesn't have any new nothing. Um, this Saturday, so I get to choose. Let's do magic for now. Everybody do be suspicious of everyone. Oh, here. So what did it give me? Mother's present. Can I open it? Oh, it's like an emblem, right? Go and say goodbye. Meet Kurt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Side quest. Coin guard merchandise. Let's do it. Brought up at the court of the Prince Dorsey with his son, Constantine. You have benefited from the best tutors and masters of arms. As skilled in combat as in games of the mind, you have also shown early aptitudes for light magic. Your cousin has been more calm and thoughtful than ever, and you have always tried to protect him from the annoyances he has the power to attract, which has earned you the respect of your uncle and probably the appointment as legate, in other words, the senior diplomat, on the island of Tier Frade. Legate? It is with a heavy heart that you will have to leave behind your mother suffering from the Malachor and close to death, but the opportunity that is offered to you away from the deadly atmosphere of Serene to accompany your cousin and to discover new shores is not one that can be refused. So she's the princess. Oh wait, is the sister of Prince Dorsey and your mother? She has always shown you a lot of tenderness, which is not common among the congregation nobility. She unfortunately came down with the Malachor some time ago and has been living in isolation since then. Her suffering and appearance preventing her from maintaining her role at court. Although she may be very sorry to see you leave Serene and be far from her, she prefers her only child to visit more welcoming shores and seek a cure for her people rather than stay by her side waiting for her death. So this is like afflicting everyone. This very cultivated man has taught you and your cousin Constantine history, the workings of politics, and the subtleties of diplomacy. You do not know if your uncle has sent him to you in the hope that he will keep an eye on you, or if he wanted to come himself, driven by the affection he has for you and his ever-lingering curiosity. 
After all, you've been hearing for years about this fascinating island and the mys mysteries it contains, which he hopes to shed some light on. You know, you've known Kurt for many years when he became yours and Constantine's weapons master. His childhood was tough and he had a weapon in his hand as soon as he was old enough to hold one. <laughs> Although he has obviously suffered from it, he does not seem bitter, just a little cynical, and he shows you and your cousin an almost brotherly protective affection. Okay, so maybe not a romance option. Serene is the biggest city of the merchant congregation and one of the most imports, important ports on the continent. Sea trade has long made rich, but it is the, also the ultimate diplomatic city thanks to the neutrality of the congregation. Markets are full of exotic goods. Best artists and philosophers of the time. Despite the appearance of the Malachor, but since a little over 20 years, the deterioration of the congregation's relations with the Knots and an aggravated epidemic have drastically reduced its prestige and population. Ooh. So, is that what's on her chin? Because I saw her mom had that too. So, I wonder... Where would you like to begin? I've been asked to pay visits to the ambassadors of Teleme and the Bridge Alliance before our departure. Their dwellings are not far from here. We could go there first. Very well. Do you think Constantine oh, will well. be waiting for us next to the ship? I don't know, but it is certainly worthy of inspection. This is pretty cool, I want to say. So it's an epidemic. Why is everything destroyed? I guess it's because it's in olden times, basically. Come on, my looting, looting bullshit. Whoa. And death to the others. What the fuck? Okay, 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 wait. Careful, green blood. You're wounded. <laughs> Why are they? What did I do wrong? Okay, stop, stop, stop. To my help. Stop, to stop, the stop. I did too hard, mode. Things are about to get dicey. I've done some main quests before. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I was very confident and I was like, let's go, let's go. Melee weapon. So I think it looks like. Oh. Need an agility. That's okay. Ooh, I can play as Kurt. But I think he knows what he's doing more than me. Go shoot with the vendor. So why did they try to kill me? I don't understand. I believe I've seen you at the palace. Are you one of the prince's relatives? Oh, hello, your excellency. It is an honor. The merchant is there. Where? There. Good day, my lady. How am I of your service? You can start by explaining to me why you refuse to honor the orders agreed upon with the guard. There's been a misunderstanding, madam. Of course we're ready to honor the orders. 
In fact, I've already had a word with your master at arms. They're asking that we pay again, despite having already paid. It's just that the price has gone up since. I've nothing to do with it. This is inadmissible. If you agree on a sum, you need to honor that agreement. I'm sorry, madam. I'm just an agent, and I'm only obeying orders. Why don't we go and solicit other suppliers, Kurt? When we've already paid for the merchandise? If these thieves agree to reimburse the original payment, it's what we do immediately. And do know, in the future, we won't be shopping with them. Well, I should think not. <laughs> Your master has apparently asked you to demand a second payment for this merchandise. That's right. He told me that their attendants seemed to be hiding something when he passed the order. And so he must have thought the guard would end up paying in the end whatever he asked for. I'll be down. And I'm the one they've sent to settle the affair. Sorry, Captain. It's nothing personal. I'm only following orders. Following orders. Yeah, we hear you. Makes one wonder which one of the two of us is a coin guard. Ooh. This whole story sounds suspicious and stinks of a scandal. You were demanding a second payment, but refused to reimburse the one that was already made. I'm not the one demanding nor refusing. It's my master. Let me this speak to the master. Fool is pushing me to madness. You understand now why I'm asking for your help? Ooh. Can threaten a prison sentence with charisma. Very charismatic. Yeah, let's do charisma. I don't think you understand who you were dealing with. Perhaps I failed to present myself properly. Lady de Sade, niece of the Prince d'Orsay and legate of the Congregation legate. of Merchants. During our conversation, you explained to me that your master forced you to commit a crime. That's regrettable. Especially as you will be considered his accomplice in extortion and theft. You know as well as I that the congregation does not tolerate such illegal activities. But I'm only obeying orders. That's a shame. Well, as orders are the only language you seem to understand, I order you to return the guard the merchandise without delay, unless you'd rather your master is hung and that you finish your days in prison. I... Oh. As you request, yes. lady. I shall Success. go immediately and ask that these crates be delivered to the attendant. Now that's a wise decision. Thank you. I was beginning to think this would never end. You're certainly honoring your new title. Bravo! The quartermaster must be expecting Ooh, us. Ooh, I got a reputation. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. How do I put it away? To my help. Oh no! And death to the others. Careful, green blood. You're wounded. So I did not know I was running into a fight. Most last save. Load last save. Whoops. Certainly honoring your new title. Bravo. The quartermaster must be expecting us. So was that my fault? No. To my help. Ah. And to So we gotta get this gun. I know. I'm gonna switch. I can't hold on much longer. You? I don't know what I'm gonna do about that though. him he's almost dead it's not nice Ooh. 
So his health went back up. I keep doing that. I press L2 because I think it's going to help me loot, but it's not. Okay, so let's see. Um, can't use all any of those, but he might be able to. How do I? Oh, here. Used felt hat. Oh, I have. Uh, I see. Okay, so let's do doctor's gloves and craftsman's pantaloons. Oh, that looks that looks good. <laughs> yeah, cute. Is that a skirt? No, it's a back. Um, and then with him, let's see. Oh, Hawthorne. Mainly in silent. Science to create healing potions. Okay, Hawthorne is for healing. Hawthorne is for healing. Hawthorne is for healing. Healing, 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 healing. So, I don't know why it has a little exclamation point. Oh. What do you want... I don't understand why. Okay, it just wanted to let me know that I have a health potion and ammo. Thank you. Thanks. Come on, come on. Citizens of Serene, come to me. You won't regret this miraculous have a nice day. opportunity. Oh. Your time is precious in these dark hours. That's just but like... what you're about to discover could save your life. Come oh. closer Hello, now, lady. good people. Don't be afraid. Come celebrate the miracle of science. Well, Are your boots worn through? Is your hat out of style? Does your hat to the she just pushed those doors open. I kind of am getting like Lizzie vibes from her or Elizabeth. But I'd like to make it more unique. Hmm. Lady Desade, hmm. I presume. Something it magical. If you have idea names for her, let me know. Captain, you set sail soon. Have you seen to our little business? Yes, we were finally able to recover your merchandise. Excellent news. I'm afraid, though, that your mission isn't completely finished, Kurt. Blast me, I'm a captain, not an errand boy. The commander was quite explicit. Very well. What do I need to do? The merchandise that you obtained needs to be sent to Tier 3D as soon as possible. But the Port Authority formalities for shipping take an eternity to wade through. And we've already lost quite a bit of time with this dishonest merchant. Are you blatantly asking us to smuggle this merchandise and contraband? Oh, I would goody never goody. ask you to do such a thing, Your Excellency. Ah, oh, but you don't mind asking that of Kurt? Well, now, uh, if he finds an alternative solution that is less uh, illegal, <laughs> uh, that would be fine. The method matters not. I but love her angry this eyebrows. This cargo must reach the Isle on the next ship. Marvelous. Well then, I await your return with utmost impatience. I'm certain you shall do what's required. What's required? Greenblood, do you need something? Aww. Oh. I wondered if you ever felt lonely. I always do. Why, do you want to rectify this? There's 
respond in the affirmative? Am I gonna get locked in? Tell him you thought that you were keeping him good company for all these years. Uh... And what if I said yes? Slow down, fair lady. Oh. You're far too noble to be making such offhand <laughs> propositions to a boorish soldier like me. <laughs> Anything else? Story of my life. Story of my I life. I come on too strong. That's so fucking funny. Uh, already. Already. <laughs> I'm crazy. Okay, I think on that note, that's where we're going to end today. I have to do some serious um, thinking if I want to stream this because this is, this is fun. And I don't know. It might be fun to stream. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Yeah, I can already tell this is going to be really, really fun. And this, this isn't like a environment or time period even though i think it's set in fantasy it's not something i would typically go for um but i really like this i think it's very interesting and i think it's a good bridge because i'm going to be playing assassin's creed games so this is kind of like historical but not really i don't know if it's based on like going to the americas or or what, but I'm interested in whatever this black spot is on them. And then like this epidemic it looks really scary. I also noticed that she like kissed her mom on the head. So I'm like, it's not contagious or does everyone kind of have it? I don't know. I'm really curious to learn more, but I'm already, Jesus, hook, line and sinkered. Like I'm sunk. I'm at the bottom of the ocean floor and um whoa that's so cool in her pocket what the hell is that a candle maybe a magic thing anyways um i'm very excited to play this it just yeah this seems really good thank you to everyone who recommended it and i will see you next time love you bye